take a look around. You're standing in a house that's 2,473 square feet, the average home size in the United States. But that average doesn't tell you much about the kinds of homes in which Americans live. What we really need to understand is how house size varies across different groups based on their regional and demographic characteristics. So let's look at our house. This is the size of the average American's home, right? Actually, it isn't. The median household income in the United States is $53,889, which corresponds to an average house size of only 2,230 square feet. But there's still more. Income only tells part of the story. Where you live also plays a major factor in how big your house is. Suppose you live in the West. The weather's a little nicer, but it comes at a cost. Here, that same average income corresponds to an average house size of just 1,986 square feet. You'll be able to afford a slightly larger house in the South, an even bigger house in the Northeast, and you'll get your biggest bang for the buck in the Midwest. But don't start packing yet because education makes a huge difference too. Having at least a bachelor's degree in the Midwest corresponds to a much larger house and a substantially higher income. However, if you only finished high school in the Midwest, everything decreases. And for those without a high school diploma, things change even more. And on top of that, America has noticeable housing differences based on race and ethnicity. Keeping education the same, housing size and number of occupants vary substantially by race and ethnicity. As you can see, the data tell us a much larger and more complicated story about housing in America, a story you would miss if you just looked at the simple average. That's why it's important to dig deeper into the numbers. It's the best way to find hidden information about the world we live in.